Welcome to the Dehancer YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through setting up Dehancer for Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro. Whether you're just getting started or need help with setup, we've got every step covered. Let's dive in. First, let's check the system requirements for Dehancer. Then go to our website. Products, Adobe AE and PR plugins. Pick your version and operating system and click download. Once it's done, unzip the file if needed. For Windows at this step, select the appropriate distributive for CUDA or OpenCL GPU frameworks. Then open the installer and follow the on-screen instructions. For Premiere Pro users, selecting the right GPU engine is crucial for smooth performance. Make sure to do this when creating a new project or later in the Project Settings menu. Otherwise, Premiere Pro will default to software rendering, which can significantly slow down processing. On Mac OS, go to File, Project Settings, General, Video Rendering and Playback, and select Metal. On Windows, do the same steps, but choose the GPU engine based on your system, CUDA for NVIDIA or OpenCL for AMD. Then restart After Effects or Premiere Pro to ensure everything loads correctly. Now let's add Dehancer to the project. In After Effects, open the Effects and Presets panel, Film Emulation and find Dehancer. In Premiere Pro, the process is quite similar. Open the Effects panel, Video Effects, Film Emulation and find the plugin. Drag it onto a clip or double-click to apply. You can also apply Dehancer to an adjustment layer to affect the whole timeline at once. Next step for both After Effects and Premiere Pro is to download film and camera profiles. If they aren't downloaded automatically during the installation, simply go to the Effects Controls panel, scroll to the bottom and click Check Profiles. The profiles will download instantly. When using Dehancer and other plugins with Adobe Premiere Pro, the preview and the rendered footage may suffer from posterization artifacts. This is caused by insufficient bit depth. Here are quick instructions how to avoid it. For maximum preview quality, open Sequence, Sequence Settings, in Video Previews, enable maximum bit depth, or enable maximum render quality for better sharpness. A warning message may appear, you can safely ignore it in most cases. For optimizing render quality, open the Export tab. In Basic Video Settings, enable Render at Maximum Depth or enable Use Maximum Render Quality for additional detail. Please note, these settings may increase memory usage and affect overall plugin performance. That's it! Dehancer is now installed and ready to use in After Effects and Premiere Pro. Start exploring different film profiles, experiment with color grading, and bring cinematic aesthetics to your projects. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. See you in the next one.